In his famous funeral oration, Pericles, the ancient Athenian statesman, um, delineated what he believed were uh, the virtues of the Athenians and Athens itself being something of an ideal state, a democracy. Um, he said, We are free and tolerant in our private lives, but in public affairs we keep to the law. We give our obedience to those whom we have elected to rule us. Now, um, freedom and the law, okay, um, it's an interesting and somewhat contradictory thing, a free society with strong laws. What do you do about the fact that um, uh, people don't always behave themselves? Well, you have to have laws. You know, your society has to be managed somehow. There have to be boundaries of conduct. There are expectations, okay. Um, well, we either have people enforcing those expectations arbitrarily, i.e., uh, whatever the king over there says uh, we have to do because, you know, that's just the way society is, or um, it's uh, whatever is written on those tablets over there we have to do. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a third option. Um, the libertarian type person seems to think that there is a third option, and I don't necessarily rule that out, but I, um, the libertarian of, of the left or the right, uh, but I don't see that as anything more than what we hope to eventually evolve into. Do we obey the law under all circumstances? And under what circumstances is it okay to disobey the law? Well, of course, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? If there's an unjust law, then um, we are within our rights to disobey it. Who gets to decide what's unjust? Anybody? Um, or uh, do you have to uh, do you have to have some sort of standard for unjust laws? For example, <clears throat> let's say I'm an anti-abortion type, and and I'm pretty passionate about it. I'm, I'm actually <laughs> the opposite, to be perfectly honest, but let's say that I totally oppose abortions, and um, I don't want my tax money to go towards abortions at all, ever, under any circumstances, because then I'm somehow morally complicit in abortion. What do I do? Um, well, I guess I can tell the government, see here in Canada we have taxpayer-funded abortions. I can tell the government, look, I, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't want my tax money to go to that, but I don't really... I don't really have any means of bringing that about because my taxes just go into a big pool, generally, and it's allocated by the House of Commons in Ottawa, and they decide where my tax money's going, or in uh, my own province, which actually probably levies more taxes than the federal government here in Canada. Um, <clears throat> but do I really have that right? Do I have the right to treat my tax bill as a sort of a buffet, where I can say, okay, I wanted to go towards that, but not towards that? Um, I want it to go towards uh, uh, national defense, but I don't want it to go towards um, welfare roles. I want it to go towards health care, but I don't want abortions to be, f to be funded. Well, they, in that case, it ceases to be a tax. It's just sort of a voluntary contribution or something along those lines, which we all decide that we're going to pay. That might be some sort of, there might be some way of doing that. Apparently, it's done that way with school taxes already. But let's just say I don't want to pay taxes at all. I don't believe in it. I don't think it's right. I'm not going to pay any taxes at all, and that's the end of it. Well, do I get to decide that? Do I get to decide that I am exempt from everything? Does everybody get to do that? And if we get to decide what we're exempt from, what laws, sanctions, expectations, or whatever we ourselves are going to be exempt from, what does that do with the legitimacy of law itself? And what kind of a society do we live in when we don't have any laws at all? If, let's say, we every the legitimacy of every law gets challenged. Um, again, I think that ethics is one thing, politics is another, or democracy, or the law is another. I do believe that the law 
is a zero-sum game. I do believe that the law is um, harm reduction. I believe that the law is, uh, in a sense, negative utilitarianism. It's to limit harm. And in a certain sense, sometimes the law has to be applied in a, I don't know, somewhat ruthless or high-handed manner to uh, enforce this idea of negative utilitarianism. But generally, societies find it tolerable because societies think that laws are better than the alternative, which so far has either been Hobbesian chaos or um, dictatorship by a, by a powerful ruler who enforces uh, social peace. So what do we make of that fact, that we live in a society that is imperfect, that has imperfect laws? What do we do about that? Well, we either just sort of say, well, that's just the way society is. What can we do? We, of course, if there's, there's going to be laws on there that I believe are patently unjust. Um, but, again, do I render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's? Or, on moral grounds, do I separate myself from, uh, uh, from laws that I believe are unjust? And I refuse to obey them, I refuse to cooperate with them, or whatever. It's a question of, again, what you believe the law is supposed to do. If the law is supposed to bring about actual justice, then I can understand that. Um, I can understand someone sort of saying that this law is not fair and it's something that shouldn't be uh, applied that way or it shouldn't even exist as a law or whatever. Um, and in order for me to cooperate with it, I'm doing something unethical. Uh, the abortion debate is the obvious case of that. The person who um, sincerely believes, and it's a matter of conscience, that abortion is fundamentally an evil thing. They're paying their taxes to a government that funds abortion. They, this is an ethical dilemma for them. What do they do? Well, again, I have to sort of say that ethics and democracy, or ethics and the law, are not a good fit, and people should have that clear in their heads. Um, I think it would cut down on an awful lot of uh, frustrated idealism in the world today. Um, the frustrated idealist is something of a, a fascination for me. The angry idealist, uh, the disillusioned angry idealist, is something of a, a fascinating person to me. And you see an awful lot of them in the net sphere, or what do you call it, the netscape or the net world or whatever. Um, and it's... Uh, it's something that I that I really like to examine, and I like to see, because I, in a certain sense, I agree with these people who are actually frustrated by uh, the fact that there's so much BS in the world. But what I'm sort of wondering is, is it legitimate? Is it reasonable to be frustrated because things are not the way they should or could be? Since when have things ever been the way they should be. <laughs> Thank you.